Hey everyone, welcome to episode number 33 of our Unshakable podcast. And I'm so excited about doing this one outside again today because we have some wonderful updates on what God has been doing here in our renovations. As you can look over my shoulder, you can see that our parking lot was striped today. Actually, the last couple days we've been doing this and we got the whole thing striped out. And this is such an answer to prayer. This is such a victory for our faith. We've been believing God for this. And just looking out at this today, I don't know, it just, it's just so surreal because for years we've been parking on grass. It's been like on a cow field, like a, a, you know, it's been out there where we've been believing God for that someday to happen and it has manifested. In fact, it happened just right before Easter. And I just want to give you some updates that this past week we had a wonderful, wonderful Holy Week. Of course, we started off with Palm Sunday here just a couple Sundays ago. And then we began to have these little clips we did on Instagram of the different days of, of uh, what happened and just in those final hours of Jesus before he went to the cross about the, you know, the, the, the Last Supper. We talked about the garden, the betrayal, the trial, the suffering, what happened into hell. We had a wonderful week with that. If you watch that on Instagram and you can, I think we put that back up on our YouTube channel. You can see those or even go to our Instagram uh, page and see that. But then we, we had a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday night. It was the first Wednesday, but we did something a little different and we rallied our team together. We had a great time of worship and then we cast vision for what God was gonna do on Easter. And that night we prayed together and we had our goals and you know, it's, we're still getting some numbers in, so I don't have everything today, but we did break that attendance uh, goal that we had. We wanted to see a thousand people walk through the doors and we saw almost 1,100 people come through then, through the doors on, on Easter Sunday, which was amazing. And we, we prayed for those things on that night. We saw so many people get on the altar calls on, uh, come up on the altar calls on Sunday as well. And we saw so many first time guests but we're just so thrilled to see what God did on Easter as a result of even what we were praying on Wednesday night. We gathered our team together that night. We were able to rally the dream team and help prepare everybody for that big event that came up. And so we were so thrilled to do that. Our teams were so pumped. We were so ready. And then we got over to Friday. And if you guys did not get to go to our Friday night, our Good Friday healing service, I'm telling you, you missed it. Man, we were pumped. And God was there, God was showing up, people were dancing, people were jumping, spinning, we were praising, we were worshiping. The Spirit of God was moving through the gifts of the Spirit. Uh, and then we were able to lay hands on so many people and saw a lot of instant healings even that night. It was definitely, definitely a good Friday service and people were healed, it was so powerful. And then that just really got us all set up and prepared for that. Easter again as we watched God bring over uh, almost 1,100 people through our doors that we were able to minister to. Three services uh, and God just, just did such amazing things and we watched the altars again get filled with people and the altar calls. Uh, so many first time guests, so many bags that we handed out, our first time guest bags. So it's so exciting because you know we've been believing God for, for Easter but up to that date we were getting the renovations done, we were doing uh, different challenges of reaching out to people. We had uh, obviously our uh, Caltown event that we do every year out reaching out to our community. So man, what a weekend we have. So I wanted to update you guys on this podcast. This is what I wanted to do it on because I really believe that God is up to something in our church. I believe that we're at that place of explosion. I really believe that God is, is causing things to increase. So uh, just giving you these updates. The lobby, if you've been here, you've already seen it. It's, it's been completed. Uh, our bathrooms are, are just about done. Now they were operational, but we've got a few more tweaks and things that we're doing in there to make them even be more beautiful than what they are. And uh, just so thrilled about all that's happening. So. Uh, make sure that you get back here on Sunday. So if you're one of those guests that came on Easter, get back here on Sunday because we are in a, a, a relationship series called Toxic Relationships. So you wanna, you wanna continue on the journey with us uh, about how to get uh, your relationships toxin free. And that's what we're talking about. Uh, this past Sunday, of course, we talked about some things uh, 
uh, about how to have that relationship with God. We're going to further this on this coming Sunday with some things about how to deal with your own self because you're not going to be good to anybody else if you don't start dealing with the toxins in your own life. And we'll progress in this series as we talk more about friendships, family, and ultimately we'll get there to the last one where we talk about marriage. And I do want to put a plug in on that. We have our marriage conference coming up May uh, the 5th and the 6th, ending on the 7th on that Sunday. So you don't want to miss that. It's going to be with Pastors Kenneth and Lynette Estrada, as well as with Pastor Brandy and myself. And it's going to be on a Friday, on a Saturday morning, and then ending on that Sunday. So you want to make sure that you're there. It's a great way to finish up this series on toxic relationships. And uh, I know this is a great way also to get maybe some of your friends who haven't been at church for a while or never been at church to get them to that, even that conference. So it's going to be a great, great month as we're moving into uh, the final uh, part of this series into our, uh, our marriage conference. So you want to make sure that you're attending every service that we're doing. Get there every Sunday. Keep inviting your friends. This is a great way to get lost people there people maybe that haven't been to church in a while, unchurched people, get them at church. So thank you so much for joining this podcast today. This is a little shorter, but I wanted to give you a little recap. I wanted you to see uh, really what happened out here in our parking lot. I wanted to give you a little updates on what happened this past week. And I am just excited again about being with everyone this coming Sunday, 930, 1130. Also, one more thing, water baptism this Sunday. You don't want to forget that. So if you've not been water baptized and, you, and you're born again, make sure you sign up. If you know some others that made decisions, make sure that they're going to get signed up as well and get baptized at either one of those services. It's going to be powerful. Thank you for joining in. Make sure that you watch us every Wednesday, 12 p.m. for the Unshakable Podcast. See you on Sunday.